All right, guys, we've got a Hero Quest update, imminent update incoming as of this vlog right now at this moment. We are eight days out from the close of the campaign, and we are at 2.6 million. And the big question on my mind, I think on a lot of us that are asking when and if the final push is going to happen. And, and we see this often in Kickstarter where there's backers that are on the fence, there's backers that are waiting, there's usually a media campaign at the very end to kind of push momentum. And, and you can easily pick up, if we look at some of the other board gaming titles as of late, you could easily pick up half a million, a million. But with Hero Quest, I'm a little bit baffled by how they've been running things. Just in terms of promotion and media, I really haven't seen much with how it's pushed, especially given that more so than anything, is there any other game out there, dungeon crawler game out there, that has the brand recognition of Hero Quest? I mean, this is the genesis, this is the DNA of everything else that you've been playing on your table. So it's a little bit perplexing for me why they wouldn't capitalize on that momentum, that brand recognition. That's that's an asset that is just above and beyond, above and beyond. So a little bit perplexed that there's just been no real social media support, no real marketing for the game. It's just been kind of fire and forget. And for that, it's done really well. I mean, it has picked up 2.6 million. But now we've got the goals to 4 million. And, and clearly the way they've been planned out, they were planning 4 million. They were planning $4 million. I mean, these things are planned a, a lot in advance. And, and the, the capstone, the pinnacle, the dragon. And we're, we're going to talk about that dragon because if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, yes, I love dungeon crawlers. But if there is a dragon involved, if there's a chance for glory to fight a dragon, um, that's amazing. And Hero Quest always perplexed me, like, wh wh where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? Now we have the possibility with that, for that, with a quest book. Now, we did unlock some more orcs, um, more figures, more sculpts, always great, even if they're not necessary for the base game. This is a great opportunity for uh, homebrew campaigns and kind of survival against all type odds. There's, there's a lot you can do. So the more figures in the same narrative of the set, I'm all for that. I want to unlock that bard. I mean, could, could we swap the bard for the druid? The bard, that would be an amazing character to play. And I, and I like the idea that the bard is an orc. Um, I understand that ex upsets some of the traditionalists and purists, but it would kind of be neat to play. Halfling bard would be kind of neat also, but I really hope we can at least make it to that. I'm a little bit skeptical that we're going to be able to make this push in eight days. Now, some of you have pointed out, and uh, admittedly, Pulse versus Kickstarter... Pulse, this is my first time backing it. I really don't know how other campaigns have worked or, or what they've done, but some of you have posted, and I did a little bit of checking around, often they will extend. Uh, they will extend the Pulse campaign. So there's the possibility, maybe when they finally realize they're not going to hit that $4 million. I mean, look, if it was marketed correctly, could they have done five? Could you have done more than that? Um, but if they extend it out, maybe they'll pick up some more. I still don't really know if that will get us to the 4.0. But more importantly, if we don't make it, since a lot of this stuff is, is created, even if it's just in digital design, uh, especially the quest books, will they just kind of give it to us? I, I don't know. You know, some Kickstarters do that at the very end. Zombie Side and games like that, you know, they have it planned out. If we're a little short, they give it to you. Great job. They were going to give it to us anyway. But this is, this is a different beast. I could see them kind of scrapping it. And uh, given the scope of their publications, I, I can't see them then shifting it over to buying post-campaign. Now, here's another question. And I'm going to leave us with this. We back this project. It's getting funded either way. We're getting some sort of hero quest on. When it goes to retail or the retail support of it, will there be... Will there be, I know what they say right now, no, but look, no just means no right now in terms of the money that they're going to produce. Will they sell the quest packs? 
Will they sell additional hero packs? Will they sell the other sculpts of the monsters? You know, can you buy, like Fantasy Flight Games, you buy a hero and lieutenant pack? Would they do something like that? Where you could go in, maybe if it's even on their Pulse store, and buy a, a pack of five orcs, a pack of five zombies, you know, sell it for 15 bucks. Uh, I, I think a lot of us would, would additionally, even being backers, pick that up just to have massive, massive hero quest type dungeons. So if it doesn't happen now, will it shift post campaign? We're at 2.6. We'll see. Eight days to go. There will be some last minute activity. Maybe that'll push us to three. But three to four is a big, big stretch.